Now, let's move on to the footwork. The first step is toe in and toe out steps. Before we learn this step, let me show you what is toe in and toe out. Heel on the ground and move your toe inward is toe in. Move your toe upward is toe out. Now let's start toe in and toe out steps. From the foot stance position, eight character stance. We move the left leg first. Shift your weight on your right leg. Lift your left toe a couple of inches off the ground. Then draw a circle. Place heel first, then toe down, but your weight still on your right leg. Then you shift and turn your body to the left. The right foot swing around, make a toe in step, and fall as a T stance. This time, let's do the right side. The character 8 stands position. Now, one, shift weight on your left leg, lift your right foot in a couple of inches of the ground, then draw a circle, place heel down first, then toe down, your weight still on the left leg. Two, shift and turn your body to the right. Your left foot swing around to make a toe in step and to form a T stance. Now, let me tell you some key points of the toe in and toe out steps. First, when we move the left foot toe out step, we cannot lift too high and just land on the floor. Your left foot must draw a circle and the heel on the ground first, then toe down. Second, please pay great attention. When you make a toe out step, your feet cannot line up. For better understanding, let me show you with the stick. When we make a left toe out step, when your feet line up, there will be two issues. The first, your stability. It's hard to stay stable, especially during the movement. Second, is turning limitation. Now, assume I'm facing 12 o'clock. I make a right toe in step and to form a T-stance from 12 o'clock 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I'm facing at 10 o'clock. But, look at me. My heels is on each side of the stick. Now, if I make a right foot toe in step and to form a T sense, I almost at a 7 o'clock. So it's a much larger the angles. The third, we you do the toe in and toe out step only one time. You don't need to shift the weights from one leg to the other. Look at me. When you only do one, you don't need to shift. I mean, now you wait on your left leg. But if you do series of the movements, you need to continually shift your weight from one leg to another. Look at me. Shift, shift, shift. 
to keep the movement is smooth and flowing. It's the same when we do the right side. The fourth. In the final stage of the toe in and toe out step, keep your feet on the ground, never move. It's a common mistake when people practice the toe in and toe out steps. Usually, they move the the foot or two feet. Look at me. For example, when they toe out and toe in, then they move the left foot. Or if I do the right side, toe out and toe in, they move right foot. That's wrong. That is total wrong. So keep your feet on the ground. And the toes gripping on the ground. So, you may turn your waist, this movement, your feet on the ground, and never move. So, it's uh, improve the strength of your leg and your waist. 